Hi there, Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessary for each and every uh, Leo people out there. So, just keep that in mind and use your own intuition as well as we go along with these types of readings. So, um, let's get into this. Uh, the first card that we have is a Three of Cups. And, sorry, I was so distracted because I'm seeing like a blinking on my camera. But believe me, there is no blinking going on right now in my, in my place. So, okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. So, um... Pardon me for that. I'll try to look for the reasons for that later. Um, anyway, let's just focus on the reading. I got so distracted. It's like sudden shock. Um, it feels like someone is probably visiting me or something like that. Anyways, um, the first card that we have over here is the Three of Cups. And um, this is... I think ca cancer people also had this type of reading and um, even though the, the reading that we have right now for Leo people is very much different from cancer people, the cancer reading, if you're interested in that, you can uh, check that reading. Um, I just kind of feel that they are different but at the same time there are a few facets of this reading have some form of similarity to, to the cancer uh, forecast for this month of December so maybe you're maybe you are someone who is a Leo and has an energy of cancer or maybe you're dealing with this Leo and cancer energy you might want to check both videos out but anyways the three of cups has always to do with um with fun and laughter usually i think about this as friends and associates all at the same time because at the top of the reading it has the two of cups i would say that this could be a, a really important friendship important relationship even but with the hangman that is you know crossing over this one beside the uh, three of cups i would say that this could be a relationship that um could be that there is some form of stalemate or there could be a situation here that puts everything on hold you know it could be a situation wherein someone is reflecting on the relationship is there really honesty is this relationship really out of integrity you know there could be a lot of questions with that especially with the nine of wands at the top of the hangman it makes me feel that that kind of person or that kind of situation we're in there are doubts in the air and you know you are you're in concern of what's really happening it's like it's like someone who is thinking too much and then you know the more that they think about one part of a scenario you know the, the, this the moment that they start to doubt someone they keep thinking and thinking until they dig really deep into the scenario and it they they become really guarded and not really able to enjoy the present moment and not really being able to enjoy uh the current um, set of relationships so there are that key elements that are being seen over here and we have here the seven of swords and like i said it, this could be you or you might be dealing with someone who's thinking too much or you could be thinking too much about a particular person a particular relationship what this really this relationship is really all about and you might be looking for for the conclusions on that relationship to a point wherein you're really becoming fixated and this could lead to some form of conflict, some form of, you know, um, agreements or disagreements. You know, it has a form of negative connotation. But at the very least, this is what we are seeing that is already existing um, in your own energy. It could be something that y you are going to feel like in the, the beginning of December. Or it could be something that it's already in your present scenario, present situation. So you're wanting to 
um, to really break out or really break free to the things that are, you know, isolating you, uh, the things that are not, that doesn't feel good, basically. This is about you wanting to fight your way into things. We do have here the High Priestess and um, this gives us a form of awareness into things. It could even be that maybe you have found out something. You have uh, found out a secret of some kind. You are being aware of certain things, you know, and that has given you some form of light or insight in the air. But at the same time, this could be affecting you in a very negative way. It's like finding out something that you did not like to hear or accept but um it is a situation that maybe is somehow exaggerated you know yes you have found out something but it's like for example you have a partner and you found out that they have been talking with their ex or something like that i mean it's just a sample it's not part of the reading but um it's that idea that yes they could have been talking with their ex but it doesn't mean that they're flirting or getting back together but uh, with you having that awareness that they they probably have talked with this person there's a lot of exaggeration and a lot of conclusions happening here and we have here the sun card and the sun like i mentioned before is that uh, is first of all is being ruled by this is the ruler of Leo. This is, you know, what you are all about. And how you deal with your emotions and your own self-expression is very much dramatic, explosive, and very... Um, um, it's not really very emotional. It's not really emotional in a very hurtful sense, but in a dramatic sense, <laughs> if you would understand that, you know. You know, it's like you're the type of person that always expresses things um, through the heart, I would say. So not really that fancy, very flowery emotions type of energy. But, you know, you are expressing exactly what you are feeling um, without any regard of the logic behind it. So... Uh, we have that form of energy. So yeah, like I said earlier, you might have been having some form of awareness that they may they might be talking with someone with their ex or maybe with someone that you do not want them to talk to. And this goes through, you know, whether this is a love relationship or a relationship between friends, you know, like I said earlier, highly possible that this could be a friend. So there is that form of energy right there. And um, by thinking, realizing, and knowing that they were talking to someone that you do not want them to talk to, you are having a lot of probably pessimistic thoughts or uh, different forms of conclusions, which can build a lot of stress not only in you, but in the relationships that you are in all at the same time. So... Um, so these are the you know elements that are coming into play on a positive note i would say that this could be a scenario wherein you know you are fed up with what is not working in your life you know there is some we can see that in the beginning few cards of this reading it is a very isolating energy it is an energy wherein you feel that uh you, you're either being attacked or you you feel that you know Nothing is working right in your life. And you are now coming to a point where you want your power back. You want to do something that can empower yourself and can, you know, give you some form of freedom in the air. And there is a huge possibility that, you know, this might lead you to, to take action, to say something, create changes when it comes to a relationship, which can cause conflict or removal of some kind, you know. Uh, I'm not saying a breakup or anything like that. It's just that there could uh, be some form of friction or unstable energy that can come, especially in terms of your relationships. However, I also see that, you know, there's going to be some form of confrontation and communication going on. So if you are someone who hasn't been in touch with um, 
a, their special person, you know. Maybe there has been no communication. There has been coldness in the air when it comes to um, when it comes to the matters of the heart. Um, there is a signal here that there is a possibility that you will be able to talk to that person again. There is going to be some form of communication in the air. That is actually a very good thing. However, uh, we are also seeing that, yes, there is going to be communication, maybe some form of understanding. But uh, the problem here is this, it's going to be yourself. You know, you are not going, going to trust what that person is going to tell you. You are going to be very much guarded into things, you know. Um, you do not have negative or ill intent towards anyone it's just that you're just being real you're just being yourself with the nine of cups over here you know and the ten of cups this is really telling us that you are really just following your own intuition you're following what your heart is telling you and at the end of the day your goal is is to have some form of union and have this real happiness in the air especially when it comes to relationships and friendships you, you you want everything to feel good you want everyone to be well you want all of the happiness in the world you don't want anything serious to the point wherein it's becoming stressful and that is really always a good thing i just kind of feel that you know this is going to be a matter of how you are going to express yourself or how you are going to reach that that form of connection and union with the people that are already in your life. Because I do not see this as a person, whether, whether someone is coming back or whether you are going to meet someone. This is not a matter of those kinds of energies. I kind of feel that this is a matter of what you have right now. So the relationships that you have right now, um, whether it's personal or with the surroundings that you have, um, in your own um, circle of friends or field. So the outcome card that we have here is the justice card. And the, the justice card has a lot of energy of discernment. And I kind of feel that at the end of the day, instead of you looking to other people, maybe nitpicking each and every time to what other people are doing, the stuff that they're doing wrong, the things that there, you know, I kind of feel that um, at some point this month, you are too focused on what they are all doing, uh, the things that they're doing wrong, the things that doesn't make you happy. You are you're going into the root of some form of pessimism in the air. And this is a like a signal here that's telling us that you need to go to the light again. You need to be happy again. You need to go and do something that can you know um have some form of manifestation i would say this can also be a situation wherein um you might say quite a few hurtful things to people or to yourself however the ju the justice card is basically telling us that you already know within yourself what is the real answer to this this situation or relationship that you are going through yes there is a form of frustration and stuck energy however this is something that you can actually resolve you know it's not a hopeless scenario or anything like that there is something that you can actually overcome you know that form of energy and this major change can actually um you know um be a pathway to to move a stagnating situation to a more smooth sailing path you know smooth sailing and moving forward path so this could be a very key month for a lot of Leo people out there it's time for you to break out and break free to the things that are not doing well you know when it comes to relationships if someone is not um, initiating anything this could be the time for you to start doing something about it this is you cannot wait any longer you cannot be passive any longer you need to go ahead and do and take action and ultimately 
your desires is a very positive thing your desires is for everyone not just for yourself because you know you are actually a very big person you want everyone to be happy in the scenario so um you have goodwill with others it's just that how you express yourself tends to have some form of argumentative factors that can lead to some form of misunderstandings and you know this is a time for you to have a fresh start and that's actually going to be perfect you know it's time for you to have that fresh start as you go over to the coming year ahead so um there are things that you you will know that you will find out and there are things that you need to make a decision of but it's not a new decision if you if you would only close your eyes just the same way as this card of the justice she actually has a blindfold on and you would know inside of your heart what's working and what's not working you will notice you know are you really in pain or is everything that you have been doing all a delusion or negative thoughts or limiting self-belief system <laughs> that's getting a, the best of you so just close your eyes and you will know what to do this is a time for you to take action this is not the time for you to get blinded or 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 leap or that that feeling we're in you know it's not the time for you um to not do anything you know if you know that something is not working out in the relationship or situation i feel that um a huge percent of a lot of leo people out there is going to do something about it this is just the energy that is give, being given here and regardless of the outcome um this is something that will set you free and that can make you happier at the end of the day perfect thing to do to leave the uh, negative energies behind as you enter the coming year so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll see you guys next year <laughs> i hope you this you find this reading helpful and insightful let me know in the comments below how things have manifested for you this month so that i would know that if this reading actually resonates yeah goodbye see you next year